so much you can learn from Kashida, so much you can learn in the New Japan Academy. It really isn't an experience like that. Like to take three months out of your life, get your, your wrestling journey started, or to advance it. It doesn't matter if you're looking to make that a career or just handing the life experience, Walker, right. being in a, in a wrestling Damn. Ninja Matt corkscrew moonsault into the cover. And it's just two. Can't learn from anyone better than Kushida in the New Japan Academy. Ninja Mac, though, will have to teach Shomakato a lesson or two. Dragon Daya, tag mate. I think we've seen some real flashes of brilliance out of Dragon Daya so far in this series. <laughs> that was rough, I think, for Shomakato as well. Wasn't expecting to roll in. No. There's that big scoop slam, though, driven down. Kato gonna look to make the tag here. Kushida sooner than later, and sooner has come. And now Kushida going after that base so after the miss move. So yep, Kushida plants out Dragon Daya. Gonna have to keep this momentum rolling a little bit forward. Block A versus Block B right here in this match. As Daya will steam in. Kushida got out. Watch this. Hurricane Rana takes down Kushida. Yes, the head scissors if you will. Uh, well, you've seen this before, Chris. Kushida, yeah. all throughout this tournament, it's how he scored those eight points he has in the block. Maneuvers just like this, targeting that left shoulder. And Dragon Daya, though, gonna battle out. There's the Tiger fake. Well, it wasn't a fake. I mean, he kicked it. If anything, it was a Tiger kick. Or a 619, if you will. As now in is Ninja back. Down is Daya as well. Shomakato. DDT Robbie Eagles on the corner of it and split Robbie Eagles open from ear to ear. And ever since, well, these two guys don't like one another. Surprise, surprise. Well, these two men may not like one another, but Cork and Hall definitely has an opinion set on Robbie Eagles. I don't know if they heard Robbie Eagles on commentary a couple of days ago. Oh, well, a very upset Robbie Eagles, probably the best way to put that. I, mean, I don't know, I mean, like, I feel, I can honestly, I can understand the frustration. You know, we were talking about it in Yoyogi. He wrestled a perfect match against your right attack. Absolutely. And I can understand you put all your heart and soul into wrestling that match and getting caught in the end, frustrating, irritating, the disappointment, and knowing he's mathematically out of the tournament now. I don't know whether it justifies coming out here with the boo-boo face and... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hot suplex de la luna, turbo, nope. Oh, Doki going for the backslide instead. Oh, here we go, that's and right that in. No. Just like this, Chris, Nix can flip on a dime between these two men. Technical acumen on display. Hot in our mouths, I think, and... Hey. Right? I mean, I think they're although... Oh! Oh! oh, oh. There's the old kick chat jump there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's such a difficult position, and a lot of fans tomorrow will be in Doki's corner. You know, because they want to see that big four. You know, or the big three, rather. Hiromu, Ishimori, Desperado. We want to throw chaos into that mix, break things up a little bit. We want to see Doki make the final four, which only happens if Doki beats Robbie Eagles. Right about that. Robbie Eagles, Takuma Shinoku. I haven't seen Takuma Shinoku in a couple of days on this tour, but he's been making his appearances. On June 16th, uh, no event will be challenging Kaito Kiyomiya for the GHC Headweight Championship. Oh, great positioning by Ishimori there. So much for a clean start to this bout, but things are breaking down the way that we've seen them do in War Dogs encounters in the past. It's Ishimori, it's Maloney inside the ring, Hiromu Takahashi as well. Once that main event still has the opportunity for it. What a Tahiris by Ishimori Walker. Well, not intentional, but definitely effective at the very least as that corner bomber brings out, we've seen it before. Dropkick takes down Ishimori, and Ishimori's felt that before, Chris. And it's not gonna be the last time he does in his career. Very well good coming up tomorrow in court. Yeah, I mean, the question though has to be, Walker, that left knee of Hiromi Takahashi worked over by Robbie Eagles, decimated by Driller Maloney yesterday. And, uh, or two days ago, rather. 
And I was with the people in Shizuoka, the scream, the gasp. When Driller hit that Driller killer on Hiromu, I was convinced it was over. So lucky Hiromu was to be near the bottom rope. Still by the end, Joel Maloney wishes it would have been a different result, but Ghetto holding down that boot. Ishimori takes the advantage here, and Maloney takes out Omo at ringside. That issue is far from over here. And we talked about it, and you, you pointedly referred to him as the former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. But having that drive Naito did as a champion to be a fighting champion, having all those... De Can he now get free? Yes, he Bam. does. Oh, how's the top in the world of trouble? And if Hidari wasn't already frustrated, Blatant cheating on the side of House of Torture on their boy Callum Newman. Well, Hanare is going to take out Yujiro here. He spoke to Hanare earlier this afternoon. Said, how are you doing? He said, I think I might have forgotten how to wrestle. <laughs> Two seconds in here with these guys. Instinct will take over. And that aggression going to take over as well. Show spite. And this is bad news here. Cover. And it feels with Shingo Takagi as the never openweight champion. Just the stars aligning for Hinari, like he said in that video we saw at Resurgence. Bring the mana back to never. Mana back to New Japan Pro Wrestling as a whole in his eyes and his eyes potentially. Good pull out here. Oh, there's that right hook. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, Hinari pulled himself short. The watch Yudro's out, got watch that out. Long. Yudro with that pips cane. Oh, come on. Don't turn your back. No. Smarter than the average bear is the Valley Warrior. Watch that rugby kick cover here and show from behind. We're going to play in here. We're going to try and play deep away. Keep show out of range here. Any means necessary. Off the oh, look out! Look at the speed! And just like that, Callum Newman triangle moves up. To the outside. A uh, positive reaction from the crowd on that night, and only standing against House of Torture was Clark Connors able to do so. As the cheap flip from Connors. Well, I think to the freaks, so to speak, they saw what Clark Connors did in Osaka and they respect it. You know, and I think like there's a lot to respect in what Clark Connors did to El Desperado in taking. El Desperado's kind of fight to him. He just, you know, went over the, the line by, well, a good mile off. And if he gets disqualified again tonight, Walker, well, it is game over. Absolutely, yes. Another aspect to that, too, I happen to believe it. It's the world against House of Torture just as much as it is. Connors against Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Is Connors going to take this one all the way throughout Cork and Hall tonight? Sure. Well, they, Yoshinobu Kanemaru has wrestled with uh, a good deal more respect, so to speak, than Show has. Told you it was a good house here tonight. Now the house lights up for House of Torture. Mark Connors has something in mind here on the outside. Could he be thinking no chase or Chris? Oh, no. No, no that floor. No, no, wait. Oh, the suplex instead. And just as much damage being done to the spine of Clark Connors than Katamaru as well. Hey, Clark Connors was thinking well, it was a good idea at the time. The adrenaline firing up. I can snap suplex Katamaru, and he forgot momentarily that his back was hurting. Definitely remembering it now. Smoking on that Katamaru pack. Shades of that wild rhino coming out here tonight in Cork and Hall. Three. 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 
feels like crowd punters. That's the crowd going along. Great game your life. I definitely think there's something to be talked about when we discuss Kevin Knight, a potential invitation being thrown out by Clark Connors, Board Club War Dog adjacent. I think Kevin Knight saw and keep your eyes as we see Kevin Knight trying to pick oh, up. Wait a minute, Steve. wait a minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> Easy step up on the apron and deliver that shotgun drop. Kick. Oh. I think Kevin Knight saw when uh, Kushida initially didn't make the cut in this tournament. I think Kevin Knight was disappointed for his uh, tag team partner, but at the same time, he thought, well, this is a chance for me to really stand out on my own. Way. The opportunity in the single support, and Kevin Knight's been just as much as Kushida has throughout the tournament. We're yeah. going to see if Kevin Knight can beat out that point. And I wonder whether he would shine brighter or not as much as if he was in War Dogs. That question still remains to be answered. In the meantime, well, this didn't work out well for Clark Connors. Effective it might be, and Kevin Knight. Bushi is dangerously close to the uh, those stairs. Oh, uh, Kevin Knight oh, is dangerously close to that balcony. Oh, uh, it's do or die. It's any means necessary here tonight. Kevin Knight knows what's on the line to uh, make Kevin it to the Knight. semis. Oh, no, oh, no. no. Oh, good God. Again, that's the second time Katsuya Murashima has been pulled in the way of someone tonight. And it might have screwed Kevin Knight as well, Walker. Morishima might be a game changer in this tournament in more ways than one. Bushi has plans of his own here. Well, anything you can do, I can attempt to do better. And if Bushi can hit flush here, he can halt the momentum right to the Aslan. We haven't seen the, the full transformation to oh the Aslan. We only saw it. Oh man, at Wrestle Kingdom. TJP said that he may need to call on him. The Aswan taking to the skies to start off here. And it was the Aswan that brought TJP, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Gold back on January 4th of this year. That creature that, out of Filipino mythology, and, and something that I guess TJ is this side of him that only oh. comes out at his time of greatest need. Not something that TJ can control per se. I don't, think anyone, I don't think anyone can control TJ in this one. Is there something to be called on from TJP here? Titan needs to pray to whatever God he believes in. He can outlast the Oswag here tonight in Corican. So much on the line. TJ flattened by Titan. Oh, and watch this. Out. It's the ropes. You're going to see it. Titan Suicida. And Titan dives skull first into the Oslock. Titan has never faced off against anything the likes of the Oswag of TJP here. Cut down and cut out. Uh, it was uh, Drilla Maloney and Clark Connors and the torment they put TJP and Francesco Acura through heading towards the end of last year. Shut TJP inside that coffin and then what emerged but the Oswag. And since then we've seen the bits of it, it never truly leaves, but look, whoa, look out. Already getting started here. Master Wato joining the Japanese broadcast booth as we get set here for Oh Fuge. no! Huge Fuge, huge topic. We've seen this arena before electric for Kose. Cover here. Early count of two. Well, we've seen lots of great reactions for Blake Christian as well. And cover here once again early. Wants to get an early ending to this matchup, just like he got the early start. I think GCW were upset when Blake Christian had that hot start that turned into a slump. Yep, springboard wants that drop kick. Seen it before, not going to connect now. And that, that led to Blake Christian being stripped of that GCW world title. And 
Blake Christian with a chip on his shoulder every six. Oh, oh man. Got that win in your Yogi. And now he is going to have no mercy against Kosei Fujita, no doubt about it. We've seen some great performances, some great reactions for Kosei Fujita in this arena before, as watch out for Blake Christian, drop kick right to the back of the neck through that middle rope. Unbelievable, not to the neck walk of the shoulder. Oh. Perfect precision, look at this as well. Oh, Tope to the outside. Tope to the outside and again on the shoulder. Wow. I've never seen someone with such perfect precision it in is, his high five it is than Blake pinpoint, Christian. Pinpoint accuracy for Blake Christian here. Yeah, you know, I think that chip on the shoulder has driven Blake Christian. Well, you heard the, the voices of dissent when Christian made the cut in Best of Super Juniors. A lot of, I think, wrestling snobbery on the part of some people in the community. And Blake Christian has showed all of those doubt. He minds that much. Any means a victory here tonight. Super kick on the jaw and Hayata has Despe down, the cover. Whoa, that was close. And if it keeps getting closer and closer and closer, you're stacking those building blocks to an eventual place in the semifinals of this tournament. And I think we're getting close to what I believe the 15 minute call will be the next one we hear. If it were a draw, we would have to have a coin toss to determine number one and two and what the seedings for the semifinals would be. Still a long way to go before that happens. Xiaomi. Uh, Xiaomi impact, no. Despe wants to avoid any impact. <laughs> Despe, misdirection, up, down, spine on the pine, folded in half into the cover, and immediately, uh. immediately into the stretch ball board. Grab that hand, numero dos, yeah. there it is. Yeah, wants the other hand as well, if you can get it. Uh, any body Hayata. parts that you can restrict. Hold down, hold back from any point of pressure. Look at this, uh. it takes complete power. Oh no, oh. no, no, transition beautifully into that hammerlock. Where do you go from oh. here? Where do you move the neck bridge? What's that? Bursing with a cattle mutilation on Desperado on that hammerlock. Yeah, but more pressure on one arm than any other, and it's that arm that has been plaguing Desperado since the beginning of this match. Oh, Hayata, right back into it once again, that half mutilation. Okay, you think, Walker? He said hi to quietly amassing those wins. Oh, this is going to be the loudest win of the tournament. The for loudest. Hayata. Yeah, and it would be a circle next to Hyatt's name, and underneath means a victory, a hammerlock. That speaks to exactly the competitor Hyatt is, and there that 15 minute call. He doesn't need that flash, it's a basic style. It is the standard that Hayata lives by, and admittedly, it's brought him championship gold in the past, many times over. GHC junior heavyweight champion in the past, current GHC national champion. Five-time GHC junior heavyweight champion, won that national championship right